हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज द दिस इज माय सिक्स्थ वीडियो ऑन आर ए सी दैट इज रेफ्रिजरेशन एंड एयर कंडीशनिंग टिल नाउ वी हैव कवर्ड बेसिक्स ऑफ रेफ्रिजरेशन साइकिल्स देन रिफर प्लांट लाइन डायग्राम देन वी हैव आल्सो सीन द ऑपरेशन ऑफ द प्लांट एंड डिफ्रॉस साइकिल वी हैव ऑल्सो कवर्ड रेफ्रिजरेशन चार्जिंग प्रोसीजर एंड फाइनली In the last video, we have uh, seen the line diagram of AC plant, which is there on board ship. So, friends, before I begin with this video, to subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends to keep learning. In this video, we will see the psychometrics and psychometric chart. This is very important before we go on air handling unit of AC plant because. till we don't understand uh, the psychometric processes we won't be able to understand the air handling unit construction and operation so let's uh, begin with this video and see uh, what is uh, psychometrics so uh, the art of measuring moisture content of the air is called psychometry and the science which investigate the thermal properties of moist air consider the measurement and the control of uh, moisture content of the air and study the effect of moisture uh, atmospheric moisture on the material and the human comfort may properly be termed as psychometrics so these are the definitions of uh, psychometry and psychometrics now let's uh, see few definitions which are very important for psychometric chart so the first definition is dry bulb temperature so it's a temperature of air registered by an ordinary thermometer that is nothing uh, the normal thermometer which is kept in air the reading is called dry bulb temperature then we the second definition is a dry bulb temperature which is uh, the temperature registered by a thermometer when a bulb is covered uh, by the wetted uh, wick and is uh, exposed to the current of uh, rapidly moving air that that means the bulb of the thermometer is covered by a cotton wick uh, and it is wetted so that the reading which that thermometer shows is the wet bulb temperature then the wet bulb depression which is the the difference between the a dry bulb temperature and the wet bulb temperature then uh, fourth uh, definition is uh, dew point temperature so it's a temperature to which air must be cooled at constant pressure in order to cause condensation of any of its water vapor so if any water vapor is present uh, at dew point uh, it will condense to water it is equal uh, to steam table saturation temperature corresponding to the actual partial pressure of the water vapor in the air so we can find the value from the steam table as well now fifth is uh, dew point uh, depression it is the difference between the dry bulb uh, temperature and the dew point temperature now the next definition is specific humidity that is the humidity ratio so this is actually the y coordinate of psychometric chart so it's the ratio of uh, mass of the water vapor per unit mass of dry air in the mixture of vapor and air it is generally expressed as gram of water per kg of dry air or kg of water per kg of dry air for a given barometric pressure it's a function of dew point temperature alone then we have relative humidity so it is the ratio of partial pressure of the water vapor in the mixture to the saturation partial pressure at the dry bulb temperature which is expressed in percentage so uh, relative humidity is very important for human comfort then we have sensible heating so it is the heat that changes the temperature of a substance when added or abstracted from it then we have latent heat so it is the heat that does not affect the temperature but changes the state of the substance when added or abstracted from it one uh, important point is uh, when air is saturated then at that time dry bulb temperature wet bulb temperature and uh, dew point temperature they all three temperatures are equal now let's see the psychometric chart 
सो साइकोमेट्रिक चार्ट द एक्स एक्सेस इज द ड्राइबल टेम्परेचर विच स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिस जीरो एंड इंक्रीजेज इन दिस डायरेक्शन देन ऑन द वाई एक्सेस वी हैव द मास ऑफ वाटर वेपर इन के जी पर के जी ऑफ ड्रायर देन वी हैव प्रेशर ऑफ वाटर वेपर इन एम एम ऑफ मर्करी विच इज रिप्रजेंटेड बाय दिस लाइन देन वी हैव ड्यू पॉइंट टेम्परेचर विच इज दिस वन दिस कर्व and this also represents a well well wet bulb temperature or saturation temperature then we have constant relative humidity so this line this line is the line of relative humidity then we have enthalpy or total heat uh, at the saturation temperature so this this is the uh, enthalpy scale then we have wet bulb temperature wet bulb temperature and enthalpy scale they mostly uh, lie on these on these lines then we have uh, the volume of uh, air vapor mixture per kg of dry air or specific volume which is represented by these lines so this is the uh, psychometric chart x axis y axis and all other parameters now let's see the processes but uh, the important sorry importance of the psychometric chart uh, the importance is if we know any any two parameters any of the two parameters then we can find the other parameters by using this psychometric chart like suppose for example this point a if uh, we can locate this point a uh, by using this drybulb temperature this point and relative humidity this point then after these two line intersect and we get this point once we know this uh, uh, point a then from this point we can find uh, the other parameters like uh, the wet bulb temperature would be read from this point this point 1 and uh, dew point is read by dew point 2 this this point and the enthalpy is read on 3 this point and the humidity ratio is read by this point 4 so this is the importance of the psychometric chart like uh, if we know uh, two parameters of the point then we can locate the uh, current state of the uh, air in the psychometric chart and from that point we can uh, find all other parameters like uh, the dead, uh, the wet bulb temperature the humidity the enthalpy and uh, the relative hum uh, humidity or the water content now let's see the processes uh, on the psychometric chart the main process which takes place with air are one first is the mixing of air stream like uh, in a, in ac we have fresh air and recirculating air the both air mixes so we have to uh, see uh, this process on this psychometric chart then we have sensible heating then we have sensible cooling then uh, we have uh, cooling and dehumidification then uh, cooling and humidification then heating and dehumidification and heating and uh, sorry hum heating and uh, humidification and heating and dehumidification so these are the process uh, which we will discuss in detail on this psychometric chart so let's first first see this first process that is mixing of air stream so what happens suppose air uh, one one uh, m sorry m mass of air is at point 1 and uh, m2 mass of air is at point 2 so when these two airs uh, mixes like suppose the final state is at 3 so if we know uh, if we mix these two air then uh, we have to find this point 3 and this point 3 can be found by using these these equations the final state uh, of 3 will be in the ratio of the mass of the air been mixed like suppose m1 by uh, m1 by m2 will be equal to m3 by uh, sorry w3 by w3 minus w2 and w1 minus w3 basically this point w2 we have to find out and w, h3 we have to find out 
so this ratio this equation by using this equation we can easily find out the parameters of the uh, mixture which is formed by mixing m amount of uh, air at point 1 uh, condition and uh, m2 amount of air at point 2 conditions so this is how the mixing takes place in uh, refrigeration or air handling unit so let me read uh, this what is written over here a mixture uh, mixing of several uh, air stream in the process is very frequently used in air conditioning this mixing is uh, normally takes place uh, without the addition or rejection of either heat or moisture the final state 3 lies on a straight line connecting the initial states of uh, two stream before mixing and the final state 3 divides these lines in the in two parts uh, which are in the same ratio as their two masses of the air being mixed so uh, it is very important that uh, 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 this uh, this line uh, this point 3 this point 3 divides this line in the ratio of the masses in which the uh, air is mixed now let's uh, go on to next uh, process next process is uh, sensible heating so as we can see from uh, this uh, diagram as the air passes on the heating coil and it moves out the uh, it, it it gains it takes uh, it gains temperature this can be represented by this this line on the psychometric chart and from these points we can find the enthalpy so when air passes over a dry surface which is a temperature greater than uh, its a dry, dry bulb temperature then it uh, undergoes sensible heating. Thus the heating can be achieved by passing the air over heating coil like the electric resistance heating coil or the steam coil. During such processes the specific humidity remains constant but the dry bulb temperature raises and approaches that of the surface. Now the third is sensible cooling so as you can see this is uh, much similar to the last process instead of uh, heating we have cooling coils so as temperature as uh, the air enters it uh, enters at point one and uh, uh, moves out at point uh, two its temperature is decreased uh, and this can be shown in this diagram the point by this line so air undergoes sensible cooling whenever it passes over a surface that is at a temperature less than the dry bulb temperature of the air but greater than dew point temperature. This is very important. It has to be uh, greater than dew point of the uh, dew point of the air. Thus sensible cooling uh, can be achieved by passing the air over cooling coil like operating coil of the refrigeration cycle. So this is this is the most important process as this is uh, happening. Uh, in air handling unit most most of the time uh, continuously for cooling purposes now we have cooling and dehumidification process so uh, this is uh, done when the air is made to pass over a surface over a surface or through a spray of water that is at a temperature less than the dew point of the temp uh, of dew point temperature of the air then the condensation of some of the water vapor in the air will occur simultaneously with the sensible cooling process as we can see then this is 1 to 2 is a sensible cooling process then 2 to 3 is dehumidification dehumidification process so one uh, after uh, this uh, sensible cooling and dehumidification process is done then the air which is there finally it is at point number it is at state 4 this is because uh, the air which is passing onto this coil uh, the hundred this air won't be this hundred percent air won't be passing through this or touching this coils uh, some of the air we won't be touching some mass mass of the air won't be touching this coil so that mass which is not touching the coil and the mass which is touching the coil the mixture will be 8.4 so this 0.4 represents the final state of the air after cooling and dehumidification process then we have cooling and humidification process so if uh, unsaturated air is passed through a spray of uh, continuously circulated water the specific humidity will increase while the dry bulb temperature decreases. 
दिस इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ एडियाबेटिक सेचुरेशन और इवोपरेटिक कॉइल सो एज यू कैन सी फ्रॉम हेयर दिस टेम्परेचर डिक्रीजेस दैट इज़ अ कूलिंग इफेक्ट एंड ह्यूमिडिटी इंक्रीजेस सो कूलिंग एंड ह्यूमिडिफिकेशन प्रोसेस रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय दिस लाइन एज वी कैन सी इन द डाइग्राम then we have heating and humidification process mostly this process we will hardly see in uh, air handling unit uh, let, let me tell you what this process is if air is passed over a solid absorbent surface which is uh, which is which we don't have in air handling unit or through a liquid absorbent spray simultaneously heating then dehumidification is accomplished so the process is represented by one and two where it is heated as well as dehumidified temperature is decreased and humidity is also decreased in this process then the final process which is the heating and humidification process so if air is passed through a humidifier which has a, a heated water spray the air is humidified and may may be heated cooled or unchanged in the temperature so it will depend Uh, on the uh, temperature of the uh, water which is sprayed so in such a process the air uh, increase in specific humidity and the enthalpy and the dry bulb temperature will increase or decrease according to the initial temperature of the air and that of the spray sorry so it totally depends upon the uh, condition at which the air is present and the uh, condition of the water vapor sorry condition of the water which is sprayed like suppose the process 1 and 2 this process 1 to 2 it is uh, it donates the case in which the temperature of the uh, heated spray water is less than that of uh, dry bulb temperature then process 1 to 3 it donates the case in which the temperature is equal to dry bulb temperature and then from 1 to 4 it donates uh, the case in which the spray temperature is greater than this uh, dry bulb dry bulb temperature so as we can see as dry bulb temperature of the water spray is more then line is moving in this direction so this is the uh, heating and dehumidification process now let's see how these processes uh, takes place in uh, this air conditioning air conditioning plant generally people feel most comfortable when air is in the comfort zone that is uh, when temperature is uh, at 22 degrees celsius to 27 degrees celsius and humidity is between 40 to 60 degrees celsius so this is 60 degree line 60 degree humidity line and this is oh, sorry 60% humidity line and this is 40% humidity line and uh, this is 22 degree celsius temperature and this 27 degree celsius so uh, this uh, um, this area inside is is known as comfort zone this area inside is termed as comfort zone so there are several situations in which air must be conditioned to put it in comfort zone so the our uh, main purpose of the air conditioning process or air handling process uh, air handling unit is to put the air at any stage into this comfort zone like suppose if air is too cold or too hot then heat is simply added or extracted this can be represented by a line ac and bc like suppose if it is at a then uh it uh, heat is added and it is re it reaches c and again if uh, it is at uh, b then heat is removed and then again it reaches c so uh, if uh, air is at a or b then in one case heat is removed and in one case heat is added to make it uh, reach inside the comfort zone then we have uh next 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 is if uh, air is too cold and humidity is too low the air can first be heated and then moisture added as we can see from the line d e c so this the this line we have main purpose is we have to uh, reach point c 
सो फर्स्ट दी एयर इज कोल्ड एयर इज कोल्ड फ्रॉम डी टू ई इट इज कोल्ड एंड देन देन वी हैव टू एड मॉइस्चर टू मेक इट रीच सी देन आफ्टर दिस लेट्स डिस्कस अनदर केस इन विच द टेम्परेचर इज एक्सेप्टेबल बट द ह्यूमिडिटी इज टू हाई द एयर इज फर्स्ट कोल्ड फ्रॉम एफ टू जी दैट इज दिस पॉइंट वेयर द ह्यूमिडिटी इज वेरी हाई सो इन दिस केस वी हैव टू फर्स्ट कोल्ड टू एफ टू जी देन वी हैव टू डी ह्यूमिडिफाई फ्रॉम जी टू एच दैट इज वी हैव टू रिमूव मॉइस्चर एंड देन वी हैव टू हीट सो दैट इट रीचेज द कम्फर्ट जोन आई पॉइंट आई now next is uh, the air uh, next uh, next situation is when air is too hot and the humidity is low in that case moisture is added and the process is represented by jk this process if air is at point j and uh, air is too high and humidity in that case moisture is added and the process is represented by this jk and it reaches the comfort zone so this is how all the uh, in any condition of air we our main purpose is to uh, reach or make it enter the comfort zone and uh, the last one last process is uh, when air is too hot an air steam from the outside is mixed with an air steam from the inside to provide natural cooling or the fresh air the process i am represents the warmer air inside Uh, inside air mix, uh, mixed air with the outside air represented by lm the state m represents the mixed air lies along the line considering li so uh, basically uh, uh, this process i and m so over here the outside air it comes and it get mixed and finally it again reaches point i that is this final point is m so uh, the initially uh, this l when mixed with um, uh, the i which is there in the comfort zone to comfort zone and the final state of the air mixture is i uh, sorry m so this is a psychometric chart uh, which i won't be discussing because i have already discussed that this is uh, the this is the drivel temperature this is the uh, kg of uh, water per kg of uh, air, air then this is drivel uh, wet well temperature and uh, dew point uh, saturation point temperature then we have enthalpy then we have uh, specific volume all everything we have i have already discussed i have just put this in slide so that we, uh, you can know how actually the uh, psychometric charts uh, chart look like looks like so thank you friends hope you have enjoyed this video and please watch this video because this is very important for us to know how this uh, air handling unit plant uh, works in actual uh, in real uh, practice this is basically the theory behind air handling unit ho oh, so friends uh, take care have fun my next video will be on air handling unit so till then enjoy